Hey guys, welcome and uh, for some of you, welcome back. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a hold on an app that's called VOR Tracker. Uh, let me set up this video very quickly, then I'll talk a little bit more about the app as I'm flying in this hold. So first I actually flew to the VOR, I did a teardrop course reversal, and then I did one turn in a hold. Now I'm going to do a second turn in the hold. It's a standard one minute right turn hold. I'll fly to the VOR, tracking a heading of 223 to the VOR. I'll start a standard rate turn to the right to a heading of 043. Once I get there, I'll fly for one minute on a heading of 043. Then I'll do another standard rate turn to track a heading of 223 back to the VOR. So let's get to it. Here's the setup. You can see I have my VOR. Uh, it's actually an HSI with the DME. An OBS and heading bug. These are fully functional. You can adjust them. You have a turn coordinator that tells you when you're turning. You have a stopwatch for these cases where we're actually going to time our legs. And then you have these two arrows and you use those arrows to turn the plane. You tap it once and the plane goes into a standard rate turn, in this case to the right. So we're beginning our turn to the outbound leg. There is also a map mode here and I'll talk about it more in a little bit. This app, it's very simple but it's brilliant. It's created by an Airbus 320 captain, so it's very detailed and it's very nuanced. There's a lot of things in this app. I think it's a great tool to teach if you're an instructor. It's a great tool to learn VORs, tracking, holds, arcs, etc. And if you're like me, you use it to amuse yourself when you have a few minutes. Waiting for a movie to start in the movie theater? Great. Pull out the phone and do a hold. So we're reaching a heading of 043. Let's tap the opposite arrow to stop the turn and start the timer since these are one minute holds. I'm going to start it just two or three seconds too late just so we can see the difference on the map. Now we're flying the outbound leg for one minute. Let me bring up the map mode and here you can see the horizontal plane path and so far so good we're matching the first hold. Things you can do on this app, you can intercept VOR radials, you can track to and from the VOR, you can have multiple VORs, you can fly holds, you can do course reversals and you can even fly an arc. If you're not familiar with course reversal areas, you can bring that up, it will show you which one to do. You can also set up different winds and I think if you're doing good in the hold, then add some winds and that will test you. Ok, one minute, stop the timer and start another right turn to the inbound leg of the hold. Another thing to mention about this app is that you can choose different nav aids from a simple NDB to a VOR with or without the DME to multiple VORs. I would actually recommend going to the app creator's YouTube page and check out the videos that he has. The link for his page is in the description. One thing that I do want to mention is that this app is payware but it's worth every cent. Instructing, training, refreshing or just like me having fun honestly I'd rather do this than play some tedious match 3 app game no way give me more aviation I love it in any form okay just rolling out on the inbound leg tracking 223 to the VOR and as you can see the second hold went out a little bit further cuz uh, we started the timer a little bit late anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video I have some new flight videos coming out soon no worries Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you guys soon.